we're just going to be showing you a quick demo of Villastronics VI Dock, which is an external graphics card for laptops. It gives uh, any standard, like, shit laptop uh, the power to play games such as, like, uh, I don't know, Crisis, GTA, uh, all these, like, hardcore games. And here you got uh, the ATI Callus Control Center, ATI Radeon 4600 series. Uh, we go down here, it has one gig of DDR3 RAM. Also can go screen resolution, running at 1600. It's got a 4600 series and a, a dedicated video memory is 1024 megabytes. Down here we got the, uh, the HP laptop that it's hooked up to. And so now we're just going to show you some GTA 4 episodes from Larry City. Yeah, we'll uh, also be playing this on the Xbox 360 controller that has drivers for the PC. Uh, we did a little bit of modding just to make it look nice. We have a underglow LEDs, a turbo button for full auto rapid fire, uh, some more LEDs on the top. It's, uh, of course, USB powered. Um, so do you want to talk about uh, what your laptop has for its standard graphics chips? Yeah, for uh, the, the HP laptop, it's a DV7 17.3 inch. Uh, for processor, it has the AMD Turion 2 uh, dual core. It's uh, running at 2.4 gigahertz. It's got uh, 4 gigs of DDR2 RAM at 800 megahertz. And then uh, for standard graphics, it has the ATI Radeon HD 4200 with uh, 128 megabytes of DDR2 <laughs> There's the stats. It's being uh, currently cooled with the custom cooler that we made. Uh, what kind of graphic settings are we running this on? We're running it on a 1280 by 720 and it is medium and low. Uh, you get fairly good frame rates with it. Uh, some lag spikes depending on the daylight and uh, weather but pretty much it runs uh, pretty smoothly. So in case you don't know what the VI dock is, it's um, an external graphics card unit uh, designed to get way more graphics performance than anything stock on a laptop. It's putting a desktop graphics card uh, exterior of the laptop itself. So, uh, you know, here we got it, and it's like, you know, all the controls, they all still work. And this is the, uh, episodes, Gay Tony. Yeah, the Ballad of Gay Tony. And we got the Bullet GT, the Ford GT here. So, uh, we don't actually have, um, any stats showing, no, no command prompt, so you can't really see the exact FPS, uh, limit right now. But it's definitely above uh, the visual um, no, notif. Uh, well, basically, it's over uh, 30 FPS because you would see lag, especially at nighttime. This game tends to uh, enhance its shadows and the lighting and reflection, so that even uh, it it's the game's more laggy at nighttime than daytime. So, you're watching this um, through the through the VI dock and to the monitor. And uh, you just want to see like the uh, video settings, you know, graphics. We just got it. oh, well, I uh, can move it up to let's see. Let's go 12A720. Apply. And, uh, you know, we got it on medium, and the reflection resolution, you don't even really need that. It's just a waste of your GPU memory. And the water quality, it just uh, pretty much slows things down. Everything else, uh, pretty much just set to medium. And okay. uh, This game is pretty much unplayable without the VI dock. It, it just lags com just so much, it's... Barely, you can barely walk around, even on the lowest settings possible. Yeah, if this is on just the standard laptop, on 800 by 600 res, everything low and pretty much off, then it, you walk out of your safe house, you can't even move, it's just totally stuck in a huge lag. Yeah. 
Um, now, yeah, that's the HP laptop, um, one like mine, which has a better processor and RAM. It's just a few years newer. It's the XPS Studio. Um, we've tried the plug in the VI dock into that, um, but that's had uh, some difficulties like blue screening and stuff. Um, we, we couldn't get it to work. Uh, we, we couldn't get it to work with this uh, tablet PC right next here. It's um, plug it into the PCI port. So uh, that computer is the only one we've actually had it working with. And the VI Dock actually works better with older computers. Uh, newer ones, it seems to have problems with uh, you know, drivers, so pretty much stuff like that. Yep. And um, they're planning on coming out with a newer model, so if you just go to the website, you can see them coming out. That is Village Tronics. All right, well, we're going to call it quit here. Uh, thanks for watching, and ask us questions, subscribe. Uh, we're always here, so thanks for watching, guys.